Welcome to another Seek Out the Adventure video where we want to help inspire you to make your life exciting. Today we're tinkering with the van Waldo. It's a Ford Transit and I wanted to give you guys a first-hand look at what the rack attach looks like on the van. So the rack attach is a swing arm that you can hook to the hitch. It allows you to mount things and be able to swing them out of the way when you want to get in the back doors. It's pretty easy to operate. Pull out that safety pin, throw down the latch, and then this just swings all the way out to a 90 degree. And then it allows you to open up the door. So my purpose for getting this was for two reasons. Year round, I wanna be able to put on uh, a chuck box, pretty much our mobile kitchen. If you don't know anything about our mobile kitchen, I made a little video of that. I'll leave a link in the description below. But I wanna be able to put that on this swing so that I can have it on the back of the van so that whenever we want to just stop and eat somewhere, I don't have to pull that super heavy big box out of the back of the van. It also leaves more extra space in the back of the van for other gear. And then also when we decide to go on a biking adventures, I want to be able to put our big six bike uh, woof rack on it. If you haven't seen the video about that one, you might want to check the link down in the descriptions below because uh, I did a whole video on this awesome, amazing bike rack for that holds up to six bikes. It's amazing. So I want to be able to mount those things on the back of this, and this swing arm is going to allow me to still access the back of the vehicle, which is where we access our gear and even hop into our bed sometimes. So I want to show you what it looks like with both of those on there. Here's the setup with the chuck box on the back on the little wire basket with the rack attach, little profile. So this setup has a couple caveats. Let's show you what they are. Super simple to access the doors. Just pull out the pin, undo the latch with one hand. You can easily swing it out. And that's what it looks like swung out. Now what's gonna happen is this is gonna impede with the door. It's not gonna allow it to open up all the way. So we're hitting and because of that, the door just falls closed again. So one hack that I've noticed is the safety hole where you're supposed to put this pin. You obviously can't have it in when you open the door because it's too tall, but it will act as a decent door stop so that I at least can keep the door open. I can still have full access. It's just this door is partially open. A little upsetting, but I can handle that. It still allows me to pull out my tubs and everything. Now, if my wish happens where I put a big slider platform there, then obviously I need this door to open up and I might have to reconsider this chuck box. But until then, this is a thumbs up setup for me. This is what I've been dreaming to have. Seriously, when you're on the road, eating an eight person family on the road, the idea of having the mobile kitchen or the chuck box on the outside of the vehicle so that you can just pull over, there's no pulling stuff out of the back of the van, it's just pop that open, flip out a table, pull out the stove, start cooking. All you have to do is pull out the cooler. And now we have the bike rack set up on the hitch swing. Give you a quick little look on how it all looks. It's really nice. I don't have everything cinched up and all the anti-wobble bolts in place yet, but just wanted to give you guys a quick look. And then pull out the pin, undo the latch, grab it with one hand and swing it out to 90 degrees. Don't even have to take the bike off. Usually you gotta take the bikes off and then you have to lay that down in front, you know, behind the van and then walk over it and open up the doors. But now you can keep the bikes on. You gotta be careful. You gotta make sure that you don't have like six huge heavy downhill full suspension bikes because that might exceed all the the weight limitations of all this all these contraptions. Let's do the door test. Perfect. So at least with the bike rack because it doesn't overlap as much. I have full access to the back of the van. 
with that bike rack on. That is super important. Everything clears. The door clears the rack. Doesn't even touch the rack. And you can play around with these settings. Like right now I have both holes. If I wanted to make this closer, I could put this hole of the rack lined up with that hole. But I did this perfectly. If it seemed like there was, wasn't much space, I could have taken that hole and slid it over to that hole. So a bunch of different options in case you need to finagle with a, a bit of spacing. But this is gonna be perfect. So when you're in transport mode, you definitely wanna have this pin in with that little safety pin in and that latch. When you, when you open it, just pull that out, unlatch that. It's really simple, just one-handed process. And then you wanna put that in there so that this doesn't really swing back while you're trying to access the back. So with the fully extended, let's give you kind of a rundown. Right now, as you can tell, that pin is gonna stop that door from opening. I'm going to need to open the door and then put the pin in if I'm kind of parked on a slant where this is going to swing back or just don't worry about it. So that pin isn't a problem. At least for that door, let's try this other door. Yep, not a problem, it clears it. But you're definitely going to need to... Definitely won't open with that, so you're going to have to pop that down anytime you want to open this. In terms of road clearance, you can see that it hangs pretty a lot lower than the the bumper. However, when you compare like everything else is dangling down underneath the van, it's definitely higher than that thing that's associated with the axle. So it's it's not the lowest the the swing hitch is not the lowest thing hanging because even the muffler is pretty pretty level with it and then over there that's that is lower even right here so the low point of the axle is lower than the swing hitch so you're not, it's not really that bad of a of a dangle but it is pretty substantial when you're just comparing it to the, the bumper. But that's a good thing because if it was higher, then you wouldn't be able to open the doors because it's pretty, it's like half an inch lower than the top of the bumper. So you know you have that clearance. There's also another product similar to the rack attached. It's called the Wilco Off-Road Swing Arm. I almost got that one. I ended up choosing to go with this one. I think it might be a little cheaper. And they do have the option to where if you want to swing it out to the driver's side instead of the passenger side, you can order that version. The Wilco Off-Road one didn't have that. From what I understand, the Wilco Off-Road will swing out 180 degrees instead of just 90 degrees. So that's an added benefit to the other option. Another reason why I kind of wanted to have that one. And there's some other perks, but I believe the Wilco Off-Road does jut it up a bit higher. So one of my concerns was that I may, I would have possibly had to, even if there's nothing on the swing arm, I would have had to open the swing arm in order to open the doors. That was my fear. And so because of price and that one fear, I went with the rack attached because it was just, it, it seemed like it was gonna definitely work in terms of the clearance of the doors and the bumpers and everything. One little tip. I was afraid that something so big and heavy was going to cost me a fortune in shipping, but it's only $18 to ship it. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I'd be happy to, to answer them. If you need me to film something specific, I'll try to do that so that you can make your purchasing decision a lot easier than what I had to do. We're going to test this out. We're going to go up to the local ski resort. We're going to go skiing and then have some hamburgers. And we're just going to do it all right here off the back of the van. And there it is. There's my mobile kitchen on the back of the van. And I'm just out here barbecuing. This is such an awesome setup. I'm so psyched on it. Isn't that awesome? Oh yeah, we'll be eating nice after this session of snowboarding. <laughs>